Okay, so uh, back control. So a lot of times we're, we're so excited about getting the back control that we start working for submissions, but we lose control. So here's some basic control drills. If your opponent falls to the choking side and he starts rolling, what I want to do is build up my elbows, one sir, and I'm going to stay connected to him the whole time. That's all I'm going to on the back. So anytime that he moves, I'm just keeping his connection to him. Because my upper body control and chain connection. If he goes the other way, say my knee is staying connected to him, we just rebuilding. It's called a backpack drill, one monkey on the back. The second part is he's going to fall through the choking side, he's going to clear my bottom leg. Two ways of doing this I can hook and lift, or I can base my hand, rebuild to my elbow, bend my knee, and then reinsert my hook, excuse me, then pull him back. Pull him back. If he falls back, that's option number two. So again, he clears the foot, I drive up my elbow, I reinsert, and we take his back. Third one, he starts going back to the other side. So he clears, but he turtles his time and beats me to it. So instead of losing your leg getting on top of me, no. and when it comes up, I rebuild my elbow and my knees. Now, I'm going to base on my back foot and I'm going to make him smell his belly button. I shrug my shoulder back in the head, and I'm right back into the back control. So again, he takes off, clears my foot, and he gets out. So I come up with him, and that Those are the controlling drills. All right, so now we're gonna talk about attacks. Oh, I have the back. He starts falling to the side. Ideally, what I would like to do is a figure four or a gift rack position. He clears my bottom foot. I do the same thing. I get to my elbow and I drive. This time, when I get my foot over, instead of pulling him back, I'm gonna move this elbow or right forearm across his neck. Then I'm gonna lean and attack the down bar on this side. Two on one, break off the head. One more time on that one. I got seat belt, he goes and clears. Grab the wrist, grab your own wrist. Face your foot, drive to your elbow. Get to your knees, step over. First one, frame, lean, foot over, arm bar. Second option, he does the same thing. I get my finger forward grip, he clears the bottom foot. When I come up, instead of going for the arm bar, I'm gonna tuck my bottom leg under him and pull him back over. I really want this arm bar, so I'm gonna stack both my feet and push him away, rebuild my frame and my forearm, and then throw my leg over. So one more with that one. He falls over, take your four, drive, get up on your elbow, bring your foot over. Instead of stepping over the arm bar, I bring my bottom foot under, and I pull him over. I stack both feet, pushing him away to create space to circle my arm over. Bring this leg high, this foot over. Climb. And the last one, same idea, falls, clears, come up. I take his back again. This time I really want to finish with a triangle choke, okay? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my feet in this position and I'm going to grab his wrist. I'm going to take this leg and I'm going to climb it over this shoulder. I'm going to hamstring curl, bring him this way, and then when I go here, watch what I do. This foot goes to this head, this leg comes across. I grab my shin. Triangle behind the back. Again, a lot of cool suffixes. So one more with that last one. Triangle from the back, he falls. We take the back. He's going, I'm trying to push him down, not feeling it. So I get my figure four, foot comes over, hamstring curl down, fall on the same side. Foot goes on the hip, grab your shin, Triangle behind his back. Don't leave it out. Give him time to start working with it. Bring it behind his back. Thank you very much. Cool.